All right, so the question is, what sparked my interest in, in immunology? And in fact, when I was an undergraduate, what really sparked my interest in immunology was not really immunology, it was the process of development and trying to understand how the thymus worked and how cells go into it and come out of the other end as T cells. And I, we didn't know how it happened. And that was really the initial spark of trying to understand how the thymus makes a T cell. So the current focus of my lab is trying to take the knowledge that we learn about how to make a T cell. Uh, we, a few years ago, discovered the key molecular events that are important for making a T cell to now simplify it even more so, so we can make T cells more effectively and in a better uh, directed manner, so we can make T cells that are effectors, regulatory, or have the ability to uh, kill cancer cells in a more effective way. A potential application of our work has to do with our ability to take stem cells, you know, putting stem cells or pluripotent stem cells, and direct our differentiation into T cells. The idea would be to allow patients that are immune deficient to have a way to improve upon their immune function by providing them with cells that we make in the lab. So what are our greatest achievements in the lab? I would say that when we began to define the molecular events that uh, control T cell development, uh, allowed us to develop model systems for a simple way to make a T cell, uh, which became popularized as the OP9 Delta approach. And, and that uh, has allowed many labs, including our own, to direct the differentiation of a stem cell into a T cell and control their development, understand the process that controls uh, how to make a T cell. So what's an OP9 Delta uh, system? That's uh, a cell line that it's called OP9 that supports the development of all hemopoietic lineages, all blood-borne cells, except T cells. So in my lab, we figured out that delta-like genes expressed by the thymus, when put into the OP9 cells, they can replicate thymic function and simplify how a T cell is made outside the thymus. Hi, my name is Payam Zarin, and I'm one of the senior graduate students in JC's lab. Uh, my research focuses on creating T cells in vitro. Specifically, I look at a subset called gamma delta T cells. These are important in, you know, fighting different types of bacteria, viruses, and also can have a role in arthritis and multiple sclerosis and other autoimmune disease. Uh, essentially, I look at how these T cells uh, differentiate from alpha beta T cells, as well as what signals are required to uh, differentiate the subtypes of gamma delta T cells, including the IL-17 producing subtype or the interferon gamma producing subtype. Uh, and to do this, we used the OP9 Delta stromal system, which was developed in this lab, as well as a couple of new uh, stromal lines, which I've had to engineer through my PhD for this project to be able to modulate the environment. Um, outside of the lab, uh, I've also had the chance to uh, be involved with a biotech startup that focuses on food allergies. And aside from that, I work with a nonprofit group called Beyond Sciences. Hi, my name is Kogelin, and I'm a third year PhD student in Dr. Zuniga Fluker and Dr. Anderson's lab. So, our, my project involves investigating the role of HEB alt during T cell development. And so, as you guys may know, T cells are a very crucial component of our adaptive immune response uh, towards infection and also for cancer protection in our bodies. And so it's absolutely crucial that we understand how normal T cells develop because any defect in their development can give rise to many diseases. And so what my project focuses on is understanding how early T cell development, so when stem cells are able to be programmed into T cells and uh, are programmed out of all other lineages like the myeloid lineage, the B cell lineage, and commit to a T cell fate. And so how we're addressing what the transcription factor HBL does in early T cell development is we are generating three different mouse models using principles of genetic engineering. And so we're knocking out HB alt, overexpressing HB alt, as well as reporting HB alt expression through GFP uh, protein. And so 
are with these three mouse models we hope to gain a complete understanding of what HVL does during T cell development. I think the best advice for somebody working in, in immunology or any field of research is to do what you like to do. It's to pursue an area of investigation that that excites you, that makes it fun for you to do the experiments. I, as I pointed out earlier, to me solving the riddle of what the thymus does was exciting and now continuing to make that a better model of making T cells still makes me very excited and, and applying that work to the clinic as well. So the best thing to do is to do something you you really find exciting.